The Arab World Cup kicked off this week with Somali President Mohamed Formaggio in attendance. While the African leader enjoyed the hospitality of his Qatari hosts, the continent thundered to a string of victories Wednesday. In their maiden title in this competition. Away we go then, in Group A. Opening night saw the hosts take down Bahrain in a tightly contested match. Useful looking cross! Oh, and that should have been an opening goal for Bahrain. And how did Mukti The 1 0 final score had fans in Doha there. cheering and expecting more than just showing off their hospitality. He gets on the ball and his assist. Lift off for the host Qatar. Stretching into the header and guides it quite beautifully beyond the dive of Jaffa. In off African post. nations, Contact Mauritania and Tunisia squared off on Tuesday as well with the men from Tunis providing the fireworks. Four times the Tunisians managed to find the net. Mauritania tallied one score to achieve some measure of redemption. Brilliantly done. Great improvisation. Walking on for the referee to see with the naked eye. I'm too sure if it did hit the arm. Penalty given. Goalkeeper goes the wrong way. Well taken penalty. Poorly done from the penalty spot. The first night's other action saw the United Arab Emirates double the series total for a 2-1 victory. Interesting ball in, that's a lovely header, and the United Arab Emirates are in front. Kyle Canedo applying the finishing touch to give the UAE the lead. This is Mahoud making a run all the way, Ali Mahoud, and it drops very nicely indeed for Ali Salah to double the UAE's lead. The goal that owed so much to the strong and aggressive run forward from Ali Mahout. While underdog Oman managed to match Iraq's total for a 1-1 draw. Down he goes, penalty Oman. Amjad Al-Harti is such a threat on that right flank. Oman to take a late lead. And Salah has taken the penalty perfectly. There were some appeals from Ayman Hussein that his shirt was being pulled and we are now having an and there has been a change in penalty taker Iraq have parity in the 98th minute Iraq have snatched a point day two saw Africa post three big wins and it is a penalty Morocco pounded Palestine 4-0 to show they could be contenders for the tournament crown. Morocco captain makes no mistake. A cool penalty to put Morocco four goals up. Neighboring Algeria took down fellow African hopeful Sudan. Three weeks ago they played New Zealand in Dubai. Oh brilliant, right at the start of the second half. Sudani gets his name on the score sheet as well. And didn't he enjoy that one? Four goals for the Fennec Foxes left many thinking that Morocco has a worthy rival to challenge for the championship. Sudan. Theo, I'll take a quick look and he's going to come and have a look here for a potential penalty. Pre-tournament favorite Egypt survived a tough test against Lebanon. Stadium in Doha, Qatar, and a game between Egypt and Lebanon. There can't be any complaints here. It's a lazy challenge from Robert Melky. Afshat trying to Squeaking out a 1-0 triumph to start their title quest on the right foot. Qatar getting a decent hand to it, but he couldn't keep it out. And Mohamed Afshat. Finally, makes a breakthrough for Egypt. 
Wednesday's final pairing saw mighty Saudi Arabia fail to put one in against Jordan. turned in inadvertently by the man on the floor Khalifa Saudi Arabia nil Jordan won the men from Oman managed to find the net once to eke out a surprising tally in the win column well every picture tells a thousand words doesn't it Akut the high scoring first day promises an action packed event that will entertain fans in the region through most of this month it will also showcase Qatar's facilities ahead of the world's most watched sporting event, the FIFA World Cup, which will excite fans in the middle of 2022. ADN TV will continue to bring you updates on the Arab World Cup 2021 and other sporting events involving African heroes across the globe.